Hello, my name is Caroline Thies and welcome back to the Life Still Is YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the spring, summer 2022 fashion trends. I love to do this. I did this, I think, last fall, maybe last winter. I'm not sure. I will put that up in the corner, but I wanted to do it again for the spring of summer 2022 and just look ahead at what is to come, sort of say my thoughts on those trends, and yeah, let's get into it. So I found these trends on a number of different websites, link them all in the description. The first ones are from Glamour, I believe. Glamour has a lot of like the runway fashion that they get their styles from, so they really know like what's coming. Sometimes I think runway fashion is a little bit off just because it takes a while to trickle down to us common folk, but it is definitely, these things are implemented in things that we see coming out this spring and summer. One of those is low waists, and I think I talked about low waists at a different point. I do not like low waists. I am a sucker for high-waisted jeans. Even the jeans I'm wearing now are too low-waisted to me. They go to like my belly button. Like, I like my jeans high-waisted. I don't want to feel like they're falling off of me, and the things like this, I do not like. Next one is pleated skirts, and I really like the pleated skirts because they're sort of prairie girl vibes, and I love some good prairie girl vibes. The pleated skirts in that picture are longer, but another Next we have bulky bags, which is great when you're like me and you're always carting around a ton of pens and journals, but in terms of styling outfits, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I think it's a little bit much, but I'm not not I'm not putting it out of the running. I think last time I did this, I rated them. What would I rate these? Low waists, mini skirts, accessorized legs, and highlighter yellow are all zero out of 10. And then bulky bags are like a four, three and a half out of 10, we're gonna say for bulky bags. Hyper feminine, we're gonna say like an eight out of 10. Pleated skirts can be like a seven out of 10 and cutouts are like a five out of 10. I like them on other people, myself, I don't know. Okay, so the next source that I got some of these from is Refinery29. I like Refinery29. I think they have some fun stuff on YouTube and I always watch their YouTube videos when I was sick, so I am open to Refinery29 suggestions. They talked a lot about Y2K trends coming back and I like, no, I like some of the Y2K, not, enough to want to cover me back. I like the bright colors. I like the beaded charms people are putting on their phones these days. But the low rise jeans, the mini skirts, the like Hollister t-shirts, I don't think we need to have it back. Laura like Gilmore fashion can stay on Gilmore Girls. Oh, one another thing that is a complete zero out of 10, whale tail pants. I did not know this was a thing, and I wish I could keep it that way because these are terrible. Why would you want it to look like you have underwear coming out of your pants? Actually, okay, there are some tasteful whale tail pants. I'll put a picture on the screen, but the first ones I showed you, that's what gets the zero out of 10. Halters are one thing from Y2K that I can handle. I like a good halter top. And the playful jewelry, yeah, I like that. I like the idea of vacation chic. Wait, I need to bring up. I do like the idea of vacation chic. This is like, my dad would always have a meeting growing up in March, so normally comes out of their spring break and normally it was to somewhere warm and we would go with him and I would always get like cotton dresses. So whenever March rolls around, I get in the mood to wear a good old cotton dress and that vacation mindset, I do like, so thanks for that one. Then they had the quote, I'll read it. Romantic Regency pour meets 60s era glamour aesthetic. That's just a lot to digest. So how they break it down is floral dresses, fitted bodices, puffed sleeves, ladylike accessories, very dainty sorts of things. And I really like that. I think that's the hyper feminine that glamour was talking about. And I think that can be really cool as long as you don't go over the top. Platform shoes, I'm finally starting to come around to them. I know they've been on the up and up for a while and I'm like just now getting there. I think I wanna get a pair of platform sandals for an event I have coming up. And 
I see people with the platform sneakers, platform Converse, and I think it looks really cool. Platform Uggs, can't completely get behind. Just the whole Ugg trend that's been going on, I can't get behind. But platform shoes, okay, bring it on 2022. Fringe is something that gives me overnight camp. You get a t-shirt and decide to cut it up because your parents aren't there vibe. So I'm not totally here for the fringe. This is basically just me bashing the trends. I'm realizing, I'm sorry. I like hyper feminine. And I like the bright colors, that idea, though I still have trouble matching different colors because if I'm wearing a bright shirt, do I wanna wear jeans with it? Cause then I have the blue jeans and I don't have like great black or white pants that I love. And so I struggle to style it, but I like it. Especially like all things Lillian. I think I mentioned her in the last video because I love how she does bright colors. The next ones are from The Guardian and I don't know much about The Guardian, but I'm using their sources. One of theirs is comfortable sandals. I'm here for that. I wear my Birkenstocks all the time year round. So I'm here for all the comfortable sandals. They also said bold colors and fringe, which you already know how I feel about those. And then they said the preppy slash uniform form aesthetic. I may have to try that one a little bit more. I'm open to it. That's one I'm open. I have the business professional clothes because I'm in college now. And maybe I'll just throw a sweater vest over a button down one day and see how it goes. They also said stripes, which I didn't realize stripes were something. I don't think of stripes as something that's out or in. I just think of stripes as existing and they're always out there somewhere. Logo bags, I don't like, I'm sorry. I don't think that it's cool to have a bag that the whole point of it is to just show that it costs a lot of money and you're rich. And I don't think that they're that cute and like ever. So not there for that. And then they also talked about suits. Sure, if you wanna wear a suit, wear a suit. I'll wear a suit occasionally, but normally you're not gonna catch me in a suit because I would rather wear a dress. The final source that I got some of these from was Good Morning America. Again, they said Y2K is on the rise, which who saw that one coming? They included fishnets in their list of Y2K styles, which I don't like. That makes me think of like middle school and edgy people, and I don't want to be edgy with my fashion. Other people can totally pull them off, but me, I don't think you're going to see me in fishnets at any point. They also said 70s, and I like the 70s coming back more than the 2000s coming back. I've been doing some more 70s sorts of things in my Bible and bullet journal with like 70s esque flowers and fonts, and I really like that. I think that's really fun, spunky, colorful. Fashion wise, the wide leg flare jeans, I think those are cool. I tried some of those on in Chicago and they were fun. I'm sort of, no, I don't think you can call these flare jeans. They're supposed to flare out at the bottom, but maybe they don't actually flare out at the bottom. Cardigans and vests. I've always been a cardigan girl. I aspire to have a cardigan collection as incredible as my mother's because she has so many different colors of cardigans. But the pattern cardigans, I don't have a ton of them. I would love to get more, but I don't need more clothes so I won't be buying more but I really do like like the flowered cardigans I tried one of these on in Chicago and it was really cool and then it just says 70s vibes so I think like hipster big hair sort of thing I think that is fun and I'm here for it Good Morning America also said the color green is in which I'm totally fine with the color green isn't my favorite color wear I like wearing yellows probably more often and neutral colors but I do like green and I'm like, how can you be against, it's like stripes. How can you be against the color green? They also said platform shoes, which great. And then their last one was oversized clothes, specifically preppy oversized clothes. And I do, I can think of like, is it, does Matilda Jerf do those things? I don't follow Matilda Jerf, but I sometimes see her things. And I think that may be her style, but like that just Pinterest oversized, but like a, corset or a vest or something tucked in to like an oversized collared shirt. I'm really lukewarm on these. There's nothing that I'm crazy for, but I mean, there are some things I'm really against, but it's not like as bad as when I talked about mullets. That was, we're not going back to mullets. That's all for today's video. I'm 
thinking I'm gonna put up some Instagram polls probably today or tomorrow when you're seeing this about what you think of these trends, but also feel free to comment what you think of all of the different spring 2022 and summer 2022 outfits, ideas. What are you gonna be wearing this season? What do you wanna see in Pop Out Thursday? And yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe on YouTube, and I will see you next week.